Hey Rock Youth, it's Luke. Um, super happy to be able to talk to you guys this morning. I know that I'd rather be hanging out with you guys in person, but uh, you know, we're gonna make the best of this whole thing. So I hope your shelter in place and quarantine is going well. I know mine has been super relaxing. Um, I've been catching up on sleep. I've been watching a lot of movies I've always wanted to watch. Like I never watched Back to the Future and I watched that like all three movies this week. I actually really like it. Um, I mean, I knew I would, but that, that's why I was on my movie list. Any, anyway, um, yeah, so I hope you guys have been spending a lot of time with your family and just, you know, enjoying that. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was serving your family at home. I know that it's really easy to get frustrated with your family in this time. Like, it's like you're, you know, you're with them 24-7. And with, if you're with anybody 24-7, it's really easy for you to pick up on things that bug you. Like, for me... I haven't had to really like share like the television with my sister since I was like probably like 14. I don't know, before like I had friends who could drive and before I could drive. Like I haven't had to do that in like five years. And this time of being at home with each other every day for almost the whole day, except for when I have to go to work, um, it's been like different having to like, you know, find out like what this whole thing holds and you know figure out different little things like that like the first day my sister and I had to like figure out what we wanted to watch together like oh what do you want to watch like I was like what like we we hadn't like done that in forever and like it was really easy for us to get frustrated with each other that day because um you know like I wanted to watch what did I want to watch oh I wanted I was I was planning on watching like the show I was streaming I'm streaming uh I'm streaming Smallville I'm going through Smallville um which is like a mid 2000s early 2000s superman show anyway um so i want i was like going through that and like i was planning on watching that and then she came out to the living room and was like all right like let's watch you know let's watch my show and i was like what what like we hadn't done that in so long and it was really easy for me to get frustrated with her um and then her with me too um but then you know over the last week like i've had to really like keep myself like you know putting other interests first and keep myself from um, you know, easily like getting frustrated with my family because I don't know about you, but the kind of second part of like this whole thing is that like there have been times where I'm with my family and like I'm a little bit off, I'm a little bit frustrated. Like I'm not angry, I'm not like mad. I'm just like a little bit like kind of woke up on the wrong side of the bed just because like it's frustrating not being able to hang out with my friends and it's frustrating not being able to, you know, we're creatures of habit. It's frustrating not being able to be in my normal routine. Um, and it's probably like that for you guys too. Um, so yeah, like just keeping those two things in mind, like it's really important to remember that the Bible tells us to like honor our parents and to honor our family. And when me and Aaron and Maxwell and Tiffany and Cassidy and all the other leaders talk about, um, you know, showing God's love at your schools and showing God's love to your friends, like that applies to your family too. Like when you're at home, uh, just like, I don't know, just, make sure that all your actions, like make sure you're reflecting the heart of God in everything. And I know that it's hard and I know that there are gonna be times where you find it really difficult to be able to put up with your family. I mean, it's probably gonna be hard for them to put up with you too, being honest. Like like I said, I haven't been the most easy to deal with over the last two weeks being at home this whole time. Um, so every time like you get frustrated with your family, I've been doing the same thing. Every time you get frustrated with your family, remember that they're probably getting frustrated with you too. Um, just a little bit, not like mad, but just like a little bit annoyed. Um, so yeah, like for me, there was a moment, it was during this last year's summer camp and it feels like a really long time ago. Like this 2020 has felt like a whole year already and it's only April. Um, but it was camp summer 2019 and I just finished talking to a student um, and then I started talking to Chad. Uh, you guys know Chad, um, he used to be one of our leaders. He goes to our church, Chad's great. Um, I was talking to Chad and we started talking about my family um, and we talked about, um, I was going through a really rough path with my family, just trying to like balance all the things I was doing and like figure out what my next school year was going to look like and figure out like, you know, all my time management and stuff like that. And I, there was a small period that month where I would come home and I'd feel really frustrated with my family. Um, and I wouldn't really know why I would just kind of like be in a bad mood. Um, and we were talking about that and he told me to, as much as I could, he told me to read first Corinthians, Corinthians 13 every day. Um, so I'm going to read it to you guys. Um, it's like one of the most well-known chapters in the Bible. It's like the love chapter because it talks about what love is. Um, and it goes like this, starting in verse four. Um, it says, 
Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Um, and Chad just really encouraged me in that moment to, you know, that part of 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 7 where it says, love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Like, your family loves you. Your parents love you. And even if you don't feel like it, they do. Like, they take care of you. You live in their house. Like, they love you a lot. And just when we go through our lives and we say, yeah, I love my family. Yeah, I love my parents. Like, being able to um, take that love, the love described in the Bible, the love described in God's word about love bearing all things and love not insisting on your own way and love not being irritable, like, the more you store that in your heart and the more that you go through your actions and go through your day thinking, all right, like, am I being irritable with my family? Am I being insisting on my own way? Am I trying to do what I want? Am I holding a grudge against them for not letting me do what I wanted to do earlier? Am I, you know, am I bearing all things? Am I taking the little bit of annoyance that I have with my family? Am I throwing that out the door because I love them so much? Um, so yeah, I just, I really want to end this Devo just encouraging you guys Show that love to your family. Read 1 Corinthians 13 on your own. Uh, read it every day. Read it a lot just to store it in your heart because I know that from that moment on, when I started really approaching my family with that attitude of love and approaching my family um, with the attitude of I'm going to serve them today and I'm going to show the love of Christ to them even though it's hard for me because I love them. When I started approaching them with that kind of love described in 1 Corinthians 13, things really started to turn around. Um, and since then, like, it's been a lot easier to deal with my family. It's not always, like, perfect. Like, I still have moments where um, I, you know, am frustrated with them. We all do. But uh, since, like, I started taking that approach, things have been great with my family. So I encourage you guys to do the same. Cool. Well, we love you guys. Um, we'll see you on our next Evo on Tuesday. And we have a service live on Sunday, so tune into that. Details will be on our Instagram. Follow us on Instagram for updates on all that stuff and subscribe to our Textedly. So yeah, love you guys.